My name is Rises. That's my brother. Escape into the universe of my mind where I could get perfectly lost in time in the library of my rhymes. And then I bring it back with a rap. Shout out Chance as a rap. These precious lessons keep falling on my lap. Um, it started off as a kind of like a little joke. Uh, well, to be completely honest, I went through a phase where I used to smoke a lot of weed. So I used to, you know, elevate or rise, you know. So I thought rises was a good, uh, good way to say that. Uh, but overall, when I started growing, I kind of grew out of that phase. And I kind of use it as a toast testimony to my life now. It's like rise. So like, I rise to the occasion, you know, whatever or predicament or whatever that might be. I started, I've always been a writer. I've always liked poetry. Um, so I think my love for music really came from, from words and language to begin with. So high school, I had a, a teacher named Zambros and she kind of put me on this whole poetic type scheme. She bought me a Tupac book called The Rose I Grew From The Concrete and that shit was, it was very, um, it was very epic, kind of changed the way I looked at it. And then me and my friends would write poetry like on staircases, like we really get into it, deep into it and then that kind of, we were always hip to music. We was on 90s, Wu-Tang, Biggie stuff, when, you know, during high school and all that, which was uh, important. Um, and I just had love for it, like, like, who doesn't love music, you know? I say a huge influence that, <clears throat> that kind of helped me get my flow, my style would be Logic. Like, older, older type of Logic stuff. Uh, like, Under Pressure, uh, Welcome to Forever. Like his style was so, it was sick. Like he had a tight flow, fast flow. He's, he's still, he's still the same, but you know, his R has changed. So, so Logic was a good one. I liked his message, promoting peace, love, positivity, and his lyrical abilities is awesome. I just, I feel like I go through a lot of phases in life, and like artists that I currently listen to, like each inspire me during these phases, you know. So the reason why I keep going is because kind of like Kid Cudi had this thing where he wants to make sure like them kids don't Cause I feel like a, like when I was growing up I didn't really have much people there for me You know until I started hanging out with my friends and become that but before that I really had I discovered a lot of music in high school a lot of rappers like Dizzy Wright, Flatbush, Underachievers, you know Logic and their voices really helped me find my own voice and grow so they were there for me in, in, a, in a way right so that's kind of hope that's kind of kind of hope I feel I can have on some music. If they need something to listen to to inspire them, like motivate them through the day, then I can do that. Um, and yeah, there's, there's dope music at the end of the day, so, you know. This one. What's this like? No more. <laughs> but I go by Morris just to cut up my name. I'm actually working on a beat for Rises over there. Uh, it's actually more of an old school type of beat. So what I do with this, I actually, I downloaded this pack that I just found online. It says J. Cole sample pack. The first thing that I saw was this loop. It's just a simple loop, but I was like, should I pitch different? Should I even use it? I'm like, screw it, I'll use that. And I had a second loop in there. It's this one right here. To me, it sounded fine. I just added, decided I just like a simple boom bat sounding type of drums. It's just simple one bar, one bar. And I got some 808s in there too. And it fit in clean. Then I also added, I just needed one more thing. 
So I chopped up this boy sample from this song from like 2000s. I don't even know what year it is from. Should I even have that? That's too much. So you know what? That could actually work. Sounds pretty good. in a bit of the instrumental that Morris and Alicia was working on. And that's the instrumental that's gonna go to this. So it's called Back Home. Um, and here, here's how the introduction goes. It's what I have done so far. <clears throat> Coming from the G town where people stay stranded. I don't understand it, that's not me. Perspectives from a G. Yeah, we came a long way from my story. Uh, recording from my phone, I thought we was on. We dropped one song. But that wasn't the case. See, I learned something about chemistry and melody, taking it way back, back to the memories. When we first started, um, I had an Android, um, and we had to use a pop filter on the thing, on the phone, and record like that. And we had to transport that into the computer instead of directly using the, the microphone. Um, it was, a, took a huge process. We had no Wi-Fi, so we were struggling. We'd have to go to McDonald's to try to upload it, and you know that's a that's a that's that's a reach. That's a lot of work to do. Uh, but as time went on, we started uh, progressing, and it's been almost like two years since I dropped my first song, which is my story. That's why I said uh, we came a long way from my story, and that's song I kind of just introduce what we want. When you talk in terms of projects, we, I have three real projects. The first one was uh, the first one was Perspectives from a G. You know, so that's the name of it, Perspectives from a G, which also I mentioned in this song. Is playing a homage to that. Uh, the the term, the name itself, perspectives from a G, is a double entendre. So it means perspectives are specific viewpoints on Gonzalez. G as in G Town for Gonzalez, or perspectives from a G, like I'm a G, you know. And I don't mean that in a in a like a like a gangster type of way. I mean that like I respect you and you respect me. I keep it real. I'm, I'm gonna keep it G with you, you know. Um, and this song is pretty much a testimony just reflecting on her growth and her progression on Bobby and Cam. Is it recorded? How much better it's only gonna get from them, so. Of course it is. Yeah. 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 This rises. Yeah. 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 What's life for me? Whenever I spit it, it brings my rhymes to life with ease. My brother's in the function full of steeds. I wonder what I can accomplish. Riding down my blessings, I'm feeling astonished. How could a relationship like ours tarnish? I guess it wasn't meant to be. I'm feeling a wave of feelings like a tsunami. Or like anger that I feel from police brutality. That just what the universe wants me to be. Mentally. Mentally. Yeah. But what about the financials? Written all over this instrumental. I'm trying to conquer this insanity.